Okay. So based on previously what I told you about how um, gradient actually works, um, it changed the picture a lot. Um, it makes it a lot more, it pops out a lot more. Um, the tail is really what I want to focus on of what gradient actually does. Gradient is so much more efficient than regular shading at times. It depends on what kind of style you're going for. But yeah, so all I did was gradient shading and a little bit of highlights here and there. Um, so in this section of the tutorial, I'm going to blur some of the hair. Okay. So I get my smudge, and right now it's at three pixels. I'm going to change it to around 19. And I'm going to set its mode to normal. And its strength is 94. And I'm just going to smudge everything together. So this is, gives the hair as if the hair just didn't change colors all of a sudden. It kind of gradually changed to green and stuff. I'm only doing this for the hair. Everything else, the lines are supposed to be there. Smudging can leave like weird effects sometimes, but sometimes you want that. For her hair is the weirdest part of this character. Okay, so now we have like the hair shaded. I mean, um, smudged. Now I'm just gonna shade the hair like the way with the gradient. Um, let's see. Smudge parts of the red. Okay, so I'm gonna select bits of the red pieces. I'm in my gradient and I'm just going to get a dark red color. Okay, I'm just going to gradually change. This is where how you can show um, how the hair is. Um, the hair may be stringy, the hair may be fluffy, poofy. Her hair happens to be kind of like normal hair, it just happens to be different colors. So I'm just kind of shading it in whatever way. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the more of the orange and greens. So I'm just going to make it a darker green for shading. And now I'm going to choose a dark blue for the shading on the bottom. No matter how small your shading may be, because sometimes you may think, well, no one's going to really notice that. It's so, so detailed. But um, it really does affect the picture. Like Even if it's so small, like shading and highlighting this small little piece right here, this red, when you zoom out, you can kind of see it, but when you zoom in, you see it more. But it just really just gives the whole picture a better effect. Okay. So I'm just going to highlight some of this. Um, I'm just going to choose white for the highlight. Since it's going to be a mix of colors. And hair tends, hair tends to kind of shine a little bit as a crown. So I'm just going to create a small little thing right here. Adding white as a, a shine normally kind of gives, using white as like a highlight, I would like to say, more than just a lighter color of blue or like a color of red, kind of gives the, um, the picture kind of like a glossy feel, kind of, yeah. Like normally um, if you ever highlight with white, it makes it shiny kind of. Not really a natural highlight, which I'm not going for. Okay. Zoom out, now the hair is kind of shaded and it looks a lot more detailed than it normally was before. Now I'm just going to add some finishing touches like the eyes. Um, I'm going to create a new layer that's on top of the white. I'm just going to name this one eyes. How I do my eyes basically is I get the color and her color of eyes happens to be kind of like a yellowish. So I first color in like this. Oops. Okay. 
And now that we got like the base of the color going on, now I'm going to add the white on the outside of the eyes where it's supposed to be, right here. Okay. And I'm going to select this part here to make the eyes seem a little bit more like they pop out more, a little bit more prettier. I choose a darker color and I'm going to gradient and I'm just going to gradient the top. Okay. And now I'm going to choose a lighter color. I'm going to gradient the bottom. And actually I'm going to choose white. Okay. So now when you zoom out the eyes look kind of hazy, kind of weird, creepy. This is when we have the pupils. I select my brush tool. I'm going to select pure black. And I just quickly draw in some pupils there. Brush is a little bit too big, so I'm just going to choose a smaller one. Sometimes the eyes, you have to constantly erase and erase and erase until you finally get what you want. erase this little part right fast. Okay, now I have the pupils there. Now I just get my brush and I choose white and I just kind of randomly just put a shine somewhere don't really think about it. And then I put little smaller dots in the bottom. And something so simple makes the eyes look a lot better. Now I'm going to add um, a smaller brush very small, around like an eight or so. No, actually, no, let's change it to three. And I'm gonna choose, um, no, actually, okay, I'm gonna change that to the burn tool, around three. That makes it lighter. Okay, exposure, let's set it to 18. I'm just gonna put random lines on the eye. Let's change the exposure to 26. And keep on going over. Let's change the size to 5. And let's go over one more time. And this is basically creating those lines in your eyes that you can see. And because I have a, um, I have a tablet, I can basically put pressure and create my lines either thinner or thicker. Now let's go to the what I, pre what I used previously was a dodge tool, my bad, I'm sorry. And I'm going to use the burn tool, which darkens things. I'm setting it to mid-tones, and I'm changing my exposure to around 36. And now I'm going to draw over again. This creates sort of a depth to the eye, instead of it just being flat. You can see the, um, the exposure of a lot more on the darker areas. Okay, so now you zoom out and now your eyes look all pretty and somewhat scary for the staring and such. Okay, so now we're going to move on to coloring your line art to create the picture even more realistic. 